Welcome to the Wanderer's Notebook, where today we will be discussing Beacon Hill Park in Victoria, British Columbia. Beacon Hill Park in Victoria is one of those parks where one can feel like the troubles of life can fade away as it offers a sense of peace and tranquility in a bustling urban area. Which, as you can see right now in the video, um, it is surrounded by an urban area which draws tourists and local people to the park alike, as I just mentioned, it offers peace and tranquility within the day-to-day -day bustling of modern life. Now, the park was made a protected area in 1858 by the then first governor of British Columbia, James Douglas, and was turned over to the city of Victoria in 1882 to be used as a park. Now, as you can see, um, the park is known for its ponds, and therefore it's known for seagulls and ducks, geese, turtles, swans, and blue herons that like to come and visit the people, or it should be the other way around actually, the people to the birds, and feeding them tiny bits of food. Also, Beacon Hill Park is noted for some man-made sculptures actually. One of the most prominent in the park, actually, is a 127-foot-tall totem pole that was carved by a local native craftsman by the name of Mungo Martin, and when it was erected in 1958, it was actually the tallest totem pole in the world. Now, um, now it's, it's actually the fourth tallest totem in the world. Now, as you can see, um, Beacon Hill Park is quite lush. Even in winter, I would imagine it would be more lush in the summer with like, the flowers in bloom. And here, as you can see, this is a pebble bridge that was actually erected in 1945 in honor of the, one of BC's renowned artists, Henry Carr, and was actually unveiled by the artist's sister, Alice, in 1945, after Darcy's death. So, yeah, we, my family and I, we don't have time to go take in the Fountain Lake area and have a look at the peacock, uh, the ducks, and the birds. So, anyways, I would honestly recommend if you want to you get the full Beacon Hill Park experience, it would be best to check it off. Do 30 minutes here, do 30 minutes there, as Beacon Hill is a 25 hectare park, and it's just so much land, uh, land to cover that maybe you'd even want to get a hotel for the evening and come back in the morning. Oh, another thing that I can tell you about is that the park actually operates a catching zoo in the summer. So, it's a hit with locals and of course the life, as young children just love to get up and for close and personal farm up and I'm talking from experience here, as my own siblings just love to uh, get up with the parents of ponies and the bunnies and the donkeys, it's just, it's just kind of neat to me, fun. All me, uh, oh, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel as it gives me more motivation to keep up with this. It's, it's a way I really like making these videos for you guys. I, mean, I want to keep up with it honestly. Um also be on the lookout um on the weekend for when I drop a new series called Historical Minutes, which will feature historical stories from Canada's past. Thanks for watching and please drop a like.